It's been mostly contained, but the WannaCry ransomware cyber attack that was unleashed last Friday has now hit Asia. It hobbled Chinese traffic police and schools in Britain, where it forced hospitals to divert ambulances on Friday. It's become now a general election campaign issue. The Labour Party accusing the ruling Conservatives of leaving the National, Healthcare, National Health Service vulnerable, a charge denied by the government. And according to our latest intelligence, uh, we have not seen a second wave of attacks and the level of criminal activity is at the lower end of the range that we had anticipated. And so I think that is encouraging. But the message is very clear, uh, not just for organisations like the NHS, but for private individuals, for businesses. Um, although we've never seen anything on this scale when it comes to ransomware attacks, they are relatively common and there are things that you can do, that everyone can do, all of us can do to protect ourselves against them. For more, we're joined from Ingolstadt, Germany by Christian Funk, head of the German research department of Kaspersky Lab. Thank you for speaking with us here on France 24. One question. Good evening. Well, first of all, do you agree with Jeremy Hunt that it seems as though now things are contained? Well, yeah, I mean, we have seen this huge outbreak of uh, WannaCrypt since uh, Thursday last week. And, um, well, yeah, so hundreds of thousands of, of machines around the globe have, has been, have been infected. They've been encrypted. And, um, well, for now, uh, one of the, the uh, researchers, he found a, a kill switch, a domain he registered. So that means the acceleration with which the infections are going on globally it has it has w went down a little bit, so it's not that that uh, that huge scale of acceleration, but we are still seeing infections. Who do you think did this? Well, good question. Uh, it's, it's always uh, question the the master question. So nowadays, we are, when we're talking about cyber criminals, uh, we are not uh, in, in, in campaigns. That means we're not really talking about individuals, but uh, more about groups of people that are uh, acting, acting globally. So cybercrime is, is, is a global, huge economy and globalization at its peak. We tried to reach out to uh, Microsoft. Uh, to, they, they, they declined so far our, our invitation to, uh, to join us, Christian. And uh, I noticed a blog post on Sunday by the president of Microsoft. He appeared to tacitly acknowledge that um, the attack made use of a hacking tool that was built by the NSA in the United States and leaked online. That's now prompted Russia's president, Vladimir Putin, to uh, say that uh, the uh, link of this uh, to the U.S. spy service should be discussed on an international level. Are you angry at Microsoft or angry at the NSA? Well, the thing is, I've seen that exploit code that was being used by this malware in a leak uh, that was uh, done, well, some months ago. And, uh, well, it, it has been used in, in crimeware now, so that means uh, with the release kind of toolkit that got, it's gone public, uh, it, it means that it also uh, means a huge boost for the uh, uh, cyber criminal activities and, and cyber criminals. Is Microsoft uh, up to the task? Well, Microsoft reacted uh, to, to, to this leak. Uh, which, which is called the, the Shadow Broker Leak, and they released a, a patch that fixed that vulnerability uh, in early March. So that means that vulnerability is already fixed, and all the uh, parties that got infected now, they uh, missed to install that update. Christian Funk of Kaspersky Lab, many thanks for joining us from Ingolstadt in Germany. There's more news coming up here on France 24, plus the day's business and sports. Stay with us.